Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Wayne and welcome to Making It Easy, a web series where we work on academic skills you might be having a hard time with and want to improve on. After watching this video, hopefully you'll understand these concepts better and life will be easier. So let's make life easy with some multiplication. So why do we multiply? Hmm. We multiply because it is a faster and more accurate way to count than counting by one. Let's say you are saving $5 a day. After one week, how much money would you have saved? So we can solve this problem by taking all the money you've saved, put it in a nice big pile, and then start counting $1 at a time. $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, $6. As you can see, this is really slow. And as we count higher, we tend to make mistakes. Is this 18? Wait, did I count this? Or we are in a noisy place and it's hard to stay focused. As you can see, the longer we take to count by ones, the more chances there are that we will make a mistake. So to solve this, we multiply, which is pretty much just counting in groups. In our case, we have seven groups of five. There are seven groups because there are seven days in a week. Here are our seven groups of five. This is the same as five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. Since we have the same number being added to itself multiple times, we can write this as a multiplication problem. We have seven groups of five, which is the same thing as seven times five. Seven groups of five is the same thing as seven times five. So let's solve this problem by counting groups of five seven times. So five plus five is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 plus five is 20, 20 plus five is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30, 30 plus 5 is 35. So if you saved $5 for 7 days, you would have $35. Now I'm going to give you a challenging problem to do on your own. Let's see, that would be a good problem for you. Let's say you are still saving $5 a day, but this time you save it for 9 days. How can you use multiplication to figure out how much money you saved without having to count $1 at a time? Let's use multiplication. Let's use the strategy that we just went over. I'm going to give you three seconds to solve this problem, but don't worry. You can pause the video and it will take as long as you want. And remember, it's not about being fast. It's about being right. So take your time if you need to, to get the correct answer. All right. I'm gonna start counting down from three. So after one, I'm gonna give you that answer. Here we go. Three, two, one. The answer is $45. Congrats on getting the answer right. If this was easy for you, you should still celebrate because we should celebrate our victories as they come. If you didn't get it right, don't sweat it. These things happen. Let's just learn from our mistakes and get better. And you can learn from your mistakes by watching our question and review video where we go over the problem we just did, but in detail. And there you have it. We just reviewed how multiplying can make our lives easier. And hopefully after watching this video, multiplication has become less intimidating for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and wanna show some love and support, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you know anyone that would benefit from this video, please share it with them. Let's make academics easier together. I'm Mr. Wayne signing out. Be safe out there, friends. If you want to get better at multiplying, you can click this video over here where I'll teach you some drills and activities you can do to make you faster at multiplying. Get your brain big.